your girl Lauren Brew here. I'm back with the reaction video. So by the title, I'm rocking to the never ended nightmare of Adam 22 in the rain. So it has now officially <sighs> been two weeks this... since Adam 22's wife, Lena, announced that she was going to get that PVC pipe midnight dub edition, that is. And I believe at this point, we are only one day away from Doomsday. We are one day away from Adam 22's personal 9-11. And I think it's gonna be one of those things where it's almost like those guys who are going out and getting that leg lengthening surgery so they can be like four or five inches taller. It's one of those things where going in, you think it's gonna be amazing. You think it's gonna change your life. Wow. Oh, look at all the broads I'm gonna I get in my new height. That. that is until you wake up from the surgery and you realize that you're out here looking like a T-Rex because you got the wingspan of a guy who's only five feet tall, but you're the height of a six footer. Not to mention that one jump on those brittle legs and they're gonna be snapping like some toothpicks. Seriously I though, guys, we are now one sense. day away from the big release. You know, it's gonna be a massive load. And of so, course, you so know your boy, I've tried hey, a few things to show you, quite a few little updates since my last Adam 22 video. Woo! So I, don't know how I wanted he did to show you guys this clip from less than a year ago, and this thing absolutely aged like spoiled Some people would have been gun blazing. Do be in your scenes. No. We got a one-way thing going here. One-way thing. I mean, we're monogamous in our private lives, and then we do shit on camera with other yeah. girls. Right. I got too much money to have her getting dunked. <laughs> <laughs> Linebacker. I can't do it. But Should you I did it. Same logic on you. I've got too much money to let my man do this. You want, you want to cancel Bugs Off? That's kind of his <laughs> <laughs> like. Why don't they just do it together? They're married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, why? Who would want to watch that? Like, I don't judge people, but there's certain things is like. Yeah, married. Ain't got a whole child. I feel like once you have a child and you, you found the one, I feel like do it together. If you don't want to stop, just do it together. <laughs> now, it's interesting to me how Adam has now recently changed his tune. I think this whole thing is going to end up being a very slippery slope. And now that he has opened Pandora's box, all these different demons are going to start jumping out. He's going to find himself in the corner with the camera, possibly getting a crazy angle watching a sack. All while his wife looks him in the eyes and says, you're doing a great job, honey. This is what marriage is all about. Lena posted this a couple of days ago. She says, I'm saying they just got married, with Mr. Like, Jason Love. That's Four wild days until me. the drop. All right, Jason, we're done. It was great. Had a blast. Way more fun than expected. Holy shit. Ooh, I can say the same about you. Ah! You get a massage? Same. I definitely need a massage. <laughs> <laughs> like we've discussed in the past, the smile on her face is much bigger than I've ever seen when she was hanging out with Adam. Just some more shameless oh, promotion from Adam via his Twitter account. He says, six was... days till the world gets to see my wife get her back blown out. And then he shares some sort of engagement picture that they had, yeah, I, I assume. Awesome. I thought this tweet was pretty <laughs> weird. He says, other. people will be like, I love black people. And then never let their wife have sex with one. What? And then we even had to bring Logan Paul into the mix over last weekend. He apparently got engaged. And in the comments down below, Adam is trying to spread the cuckery. He says, let her yes, sleep with another yes, dude. Not everyone is like own. you, disgusting. Bro, give it a rest already. Oh you went to the internet history books for all the wrong reasons. A Mexican guy needs to lay down the carne asada the burrito on How her. How do they he do says, this? Five days left, like everyone gets people, to see a like... large man vaporize my wife's face. Yeah. Along with another meme he shares where he's thinking, you really put it down, babe. And uh, there's the remnants you know of his wife in a wheelchair a after filming that scene. Dude. You know, I guess that midnight dub edition just hits different. And then this just starts getting all kinds of disrespectful. She says, who should Adam let me f next? She also I goes on to say, some of you have never had fun a day in your life in his shows. And then this I might be the craziest fun. part yet, where Adam jumped in for the post-game interview with his wife. Like, I've First, seen they that discuss day. whether or not she girls, thinks Adam is like... I'm mean, saying it's not like I was sitting in the corner because there's a whole narrative. I don't think you're... Are you going to go with this? 
Well, it doesn't even come as stupid. But, but, okay, I, so there's cuckling is different because cucks are supposed to be weak and they want, they want to yes. be made to feel lesser. And I don't think that that's you. I think that there's like the more swinging side of things where it's like you are turned on by your wife enjoying someone and then, and then she comes back to you and you guys enjoy your own personal sexual experiences more with each other because she did that. So it's apparent at this point, even through his tweets and now through what she just said right there, you know, I know he tries to frame it as a joke, but there's always a little bit of truth within a joke, that Adam does get some level of enjoyment and arousal from this whole situation. Yeah. She then talks about how Jason was the obvious choice for this scene. Like mad, he was, he was like the obvious the choice. I was like, oh, I have to go with him. This is what the audience wants. <laughs> Not in the views on this video. Definitely. So, okay. And that just goes to show me that at this point, if the audience wants something, she's going to deliver. Like I said, yeah. they've already opened up the crazy box, and who knows what's going to come out of there next. Here we get further confirmation that because this whole situation uh, has gone mega viral, and it's apparently going to make him a lot of money, guy. maybe, or you know, another million dollar figures she that Adam is completely okay with it. I look you feel like you're less mad because it's viral and you're like into being viral. I will say that I haven't seen money and everybody's it watching. Went, it now <laughs> seems kind of insane that I ever would have like potentially stood in the way of you doing this just because this is this is obviously such an amazing thing for your career as well as mine. Like we're not going to state dollar amounts, but even just like the money that I've made off of talking about this on YouTube and Snapchat That's has been kind of ridiculous. And then like You're welcome. Club Talk has been <laughs> a very weird <laughs> frame. And some people have speculated that this has all been more of a smoke shield that Adam has some other stuff that he wants hidden at this time, whether it be the fallout with his crew or some other very alarming things I've heard about him recently. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They so anything down that could divert the attention away from I that. I used to love watching them jump, right now it's fine. It's going to be now. Like, I don't situation know. is it a positive in his mind, so and he can rake in some money, and he can gain back some relevance when it comes to No Jumper. Yeah, He's already in the process of creating this new dream team for No Jumper. Out, After everyone involved about. essentially had this massive fallout, the original cast is done. And so in a lot of ways right now, Adam is trying to build No Jumper back up. They then discuss the fact that people feel like they're bad parents. I notice like, I every conversation that. I have about it with people is like, just they lay it they out, they, they say, are you parents, jealous, are you mad, whatever, we have that conversation. And then they basically like kind of hit a wall. What do you say to your daughter when she sees all this? Two concerned up, adults, like, and you decided to do something that's freaky, and in our case, on camera. Mm -hmm. So then they start doing the kid thing because there's like nowhere else to go with it. Because you can't just, blame me for doing something parents. that we want to do or uh, you doing whatever you want to do on camera. It's we like, were how already can you doing do it, so right. like, we're supposed to stop now. Right. And look, the I two mean, of them can try and paint it in whatever it's light they want. Husband, but at the I... end of the day, this whole situation and even just kind of their marriage and partnership in general, this business relationship that they have, will definitely be something worth studying as it pertains to how it will affect their kid. This is something that people saying. have been talking about for years, that in this new age, there will be quite a bit of bullying for young they, they kids whose parents are involved in they online don't see this work. Hit elementary And now school. they have essentially made their family the poster child for that whole case study. Like at this point, honestly, if I'm them, I'm not sharing any more stuff about my kid. No one's gonna see what they look like as they grow up. And I just feel like they deserve the best chance they can get at a normal childhood. And now here's where that slippery slope argument continues to come in. As in the last time I covered this whole situation, Adam said at some point, he would probably perform a scene where it was him, another man, and his wife, but that he would not be interested in them both entering one side of the house if you know what I'm trying to say. And watch how quickly she starts changing his mind about that. Like, okay, we're gonna do this double team scene. What are the positions? Because I need to make sure that this dude's dangler ain't like too close to my face or anything. Well, I don't think we should do it the first time, but I would like to be by you and someone else. So the, and the... How much time? Oh! 15 seconds. Oh! Oh! Ah! So the, and the... Yeah. I think you'll get so into it, you'll forget and you won't care. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely, like, not totally off limits in my mind, but... It's just crazy to me how rapidly he can rationalize something in his head. Because one day he's like, no, nah, this is never gonna happen. That's more or less my hard boundary. And then, and then the second his wife is like, no, I think you'd be into it. No, I think you're gonna kind of like it. He's like, okay, well, I guess it's not off the table. She continues to talk about how every new person that she films with from here on out will be a whole nother level of excitement for her audience. And that's kind of like where I feel like I'm at now because every new person I shoot with, it doesn't matter if I do any weird acrobatic tricks. It's just the fact that it's like a new other person. Right. So that's just telling me right there that there will be a lot of collabs coming in the future from this it's woman. Gonna be more guys. And I'm thinking, Adam ain't gonna be involved unless he's holding that red camera. 
And this part was a little bit extra disturbing to me. They talk about the potential of them having more children. This is also another moment where Adam's possibly true feelings kind of shine through, and you see more of his insecurity about this whole thing. I just don't want to feel like indebted to have to like be on board with this like nonstop throughout the future. Yeah, when I came home from the honeymoon, I was like, oh, I think I'm ready to have another baby. And Adam was like, oh, I don't think so. And then now Adam keeps asking me when I want to have another baby. Well, because it is kind of like you're on, there's like a timer of sorts. So, because it's like, if we want to have another kid or two. Cope, cap, cope, I mean, cap. At a certain age, it's considered what, like a high risk elderly pregnancy or some shit. If you're even like close to 40, you need to freeze your eggs so you could potentially get a surrogate in case you decide that you want to do more black scenes for the next 10 years, right? More black scenes? <laughs> has to be one of the craziest sentences I've ever heard come out uh, of someone's what, mouth. Sir? Like, like, imagine why saying that to your wife, hey, you got to freeze your eggs just in case you like, want to get a surrogate so you can keep your body nice and tight like, for those black scenes. Like, this interview like, is also where we learn that Adam is not really receiving any sort of monetary gain from this whole situation, aside from a couple of measly ad revenue dollars. People need to get this straight because this has, like, no effect on Adam's income except for, like, whatever views we've been getting off the podcast. This is all my money. We split everything, and we do have a prenuptial agreement, which people keep keep bringing up. I hope you got a prenup. Mm. Um, we're both very financially conscious. We're both good business people, um, and we're not broke. I don't know. I don't know what else to say except to say that we're not broke. We we don't have to work. Yeah. So it just further emphasizes the idea that this all really didn't need to happen. Like he yeah, said in the very first the clip I show in this video, I, I got way to too to much this. money for me to kind of sacrifice my morals in that way. And this is just another instance of Adam once again getting destroyed by his wife. But we also have financial goals. You know, we've talked about buying a beach house at length, and uh, I kind of feel like this whole Jason Love arc has been, you know, oh, we're getting, getting to the beach house category. Yeah, that's what I tell you every time I leave for a scene with another man. Don't forget that beach house, babe! That house in Malibu, I'm gonna buy it for us! <laughs> Let me just go get double teamed right quick, I'll be right back. Uh, not, that is not a thing. Yeah, if you're gonna double team, then at least one of them is gonna be Jewel Vanilla over here. Okay. Uh, you see how she's already kind of planting those seeds? Like, yeah, everything between these two seems to kind of be masked within this smoke screen that is jokes. But there's got to be some truth in there. She's seen how much attention this whole thing has got her. She sees the money she... going up, and at this point, she is not going to want to stop. And this has to be the craziest part of this whole episode of No Jumper, when he brings in that man Jason Love for the post-game interview himself. How people should think about that in, in the context of me being, you know, the, the silent third party in all this. Well, I don't know. Like, if you look at it in a business aspect, then basically it's just a job, you know? She's high up in her ranks, I'm high up in my ranks. Let's do it together, obviously, to make the move for some amounts of money. So, that's the one, again, comfortable with it, y'all communicate the problem. Obviously, she said y'all did, so it's not really a situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so, if you're cool with it, then you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I, <laughs> you know, Amy to allow it, but everyone's different. Everyone has different levels of how to make the Yeah, it like, takes a certain level of mental maturity for your girl to get piped out by another guy on camera. That's true. I like how even this guy, who is a corn star himself, is dude, like, nah, I would they, not be what, down they, girl, with my wife them, doing that type of stuff. Guy, this part out. is also crazy. Adam talks about the some prospect guys, of them all hooking up at some point. So you yeah. think that if me and you go out to a party and we see him, that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up out there? I don't know what his stance is on working with you. Oh, well, <laughs> good point, huh? I, I, don't, I don't care. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I give it in regardless. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I can see that. That would probably kind of make me feel like I had put a cap on this whole situation if we all did it together. Wow, maybe that is the three-way that we should do, because that would be pretty viral rather than just some random guy, right? I mean, honestly, he sounds pretty excited about that. He's going to say, oh, Jason, you've had your phone with my wife. Now it's my turn. So if we do choose to have another kid, how am I going to know it's mine and not? Oh, my God. I can't. No, cut. What? What? Don't even bring that up. Are you kidding me? Well, that's one of the good memes that people have been passing around. It's like me cuddling your belly and there's a little black kid inside it. I hate you. I hate you so much. I got nothing to say. I think he's hot. He's high. Last but not least, I also wanted to show you guys a couple he's of these here. clips. That's why he's joking Brad about just continues to offer his wife to other men. I know. I would, I would, so I would never do that. First of all, I would if never. If you respect me, if you respect me, you'll f*** my wife. Huh? Sir, what? I think he's doing these. He, what? He's no sense, brother. That's my love language, Aiden. They, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, this is also yet yeah, another crazy moment from Aiden Ross's stream. You're alone. I'm done. Not yeah. even alone. You know Wait, how? It's okay. You know me, I was wishing. Can I come over and just <laughs> before you get to the work? Can I please come over? We just film a scene, a quick scene. He doesn't have enough. Only if you can get here like right now. So you're down. If Adam doesn't know, you're down. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're down tonight, type shit. Only for you. 
Really? How long? How long can we be though? How long can we last? I mean, I do have to say, guys, this has to be one of the greatest promo runs I've ever seen. I'm talking about blockbuster movies, music albums that cost $10 million. I'm thinking that online this has received some of the most impressions over the last two weeks as any other story on this whole entire planet. But like I already said, tomorrow is doomsday. The destruction of Adam 22's mental psyche will then be complete. On it's like osmosis or some shit. Something's gonna get f***ed up. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this down below. I better not find out any of y'all yep. out there are gonna be paying he for this shit. Trendy. Either way, I do wanna thank you guys for watching today's video. Please drop a like, please subscribe. Either way, thanks for watching. Y'all know it's been. At eight, I said, how about that? Uh, Aiden, Adam is trending on Twitter as we speak. Uh, is his wife trending? And that's so crazy. You wanna think he's in the video? He's not even in the video. It's really his wife, but his wife is not trending. Or the the guy is the guy trending? What's the guy's name? Damn. Yeah, I think it's just uh, Adam that's trending right now. He bought her a car. Yep. Very much trending right now, and that's why we stay wanted. But if you guys reaction, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe to that post notification bell on so you know when I bring a new video. And I see you guys in my next video.